What's up, party people? <laughs> oh, we got a fearful one. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. OMG. OMG. So uh, I take it there's two individuals that don't want me to sell my phone and just want me to give thanks for the blessings that they sent me. Thank you, Felix. Thank you, Irene. You guys are such wonderful, wonderful beings of light. And I'm not just saying that because I received something. I, always, I feel that in my heart all the time, all the time. So it's time to relocate. I busted the old cart out again. You see it over there? Bam, bam. They don't like the cart. I don't understand it. I get treated so, maybe it's in my head. I get treated so poorly, I'm so, so poorly. And look, we got a Wells Fargo over here. I have a feeling me and Wells Fargo are gonna become fucking soul fam. If we're not already soul fam. Henry, Henry Fargo or something. Thank you, Michael Taylor. Thank you. And I, I have a feeling, God told me that it costed me 220, no, just $200. Not really because I had this I had this fucking realization that you can't do anything to me. You could do something to the illusion of the aspect of Michael John in the Matrix in the 3D realm who has a credit score and has a name and a birth certificate and a social security card. You know, his his his, his sheeply identification. But this right here, you can't touch. You can't harm this. But that, that's an illusion. So me being upset about you doing something onto this illusion of Michael John, it's bullshit. And I, I released it. And when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel any type of way. Yeah, the thought crossed my mind, but the emotion wasn't attached to it. So the angels, the angels and masters transmuted that right for me. See that being of light just popping up on me? Either way, thank you so much, Felix. Thank you so much, Irene. Guess what? I. I'm gonna, I gotta pop a song off for Felix. I gotta pop a flow off, you know? Fucking pay homage. They've been patiently waiting to make you do all the hating, debating whether or not you need to weather the storm. Cause you lay on the table, they got the waiting to save you. It's like an angel came to you sent from the hands of the heavens above, right? They think they crazy, but they ain't crazy. Let's face it, shit, basically they just playing sick, they ain't shit, they ain't saying shit, spraying 50. A to the K in the way I bring Dre and with me and turn this day in the fucking man you staying with me. Don't let me lose you, I'm not trying to confuse you When I let loose of this Uzi and you shoot through your Rizuzu You get the message, am I getting through to you? You know it's coming, you motherfuckers don't even know, do you? Alright, that's enough I got an audience out here So When I was walking to go well, what, what I thought was go donate plasma I seen another Planet Fitness on the way and what are the odds? I go out in front of it, right? I go out in front of the fucking Planet Fitness and I try to get a Wi-Fi signal, right? Their fucking Wi-Fi is really secure. Like, you have to be inside their building. I can't even get it in the gym room. But the fucking Planet Fitness that I'm at is dog shit. So, I go up and I fucking go to walk in to check in. To go check out their facility to see how nice it is. And their fucking power's out. Just in that plaza, their power was out. I couldn't get a Wi-Fi signal and I had to keep going. What are the odds of that? What are the fucking odds of that? And I have some more synchronicities that came up on the way. But, um, so I'm gonna head that way, I believe. I don't know, some's tell me, but I didn't find a place to pop my tent, so I don't know. I was really gonna head that way to go pawn my, or to go sell my phone, but it looks as though I, I don't have to do that right this second. So, I don't know. It's still in the table. But, until those, I think about those other synchronicities that I want to share with you. I want to fucking... So, let's talk about that fucking... That, that whole situation, right? God told me it was 200 and... It was a $200 plant seed, a uh, planted seed. I planted fucking seeds, right? And I know these people I'm attracting. And that was just a lesson being learned, right? I attracted an individual that I allowed, I allowed to take advantage of me. I knew it, I knew it was happening, but I gave no resistance to it. 
I could have sat in that motherfucker's car and been like, bro, you're gonna give me some money. But I wasn't told to do that. And nine times out of 10, in my situation, I would have done that shit. And I'm not trying to be a tough ass, but I'm really big on not getting taken advantage of. I do not like that shit. And that's what God was teaching me was like, that's an illusion. You gotta break that. No one's taking advantage of anything. If anything, they're taking advantage of an illusion of who you think you are. But that's what we're trying to fucking, we're, we're releasing, we're crumbling that aspect. Not where, you know, I'm not Michael John, but when you, when you say I love Michael John or I, I vibe with Michael John, you don't really vibe with Michael John. You don't like Michael John because you truly don't know Michael John in his fullest aspect. But what you like is to my fucking spirit, my fucking soul. And that's who you vibe with. Michael John, not so much. Michael John, has got some shit he's gotta work on. And he's working on it. So, just know that was a $200 seed planted. Michael, Tom Michael Thomas, I know that's not your fucking name, bro. And it's cool. But I guarantee you, you could be contacting me. I don't know, maybe a year, two, three, five years from now. Paying me back with interest. That's just from the Holy Spirit. But either way, I'm going to fucking um, get into a, one more thing. So I had this guy, Ron, on my comment section. And he wanted a video about sleeping around, you know having multiple partners, you know, just randomly having sex. And, you know, I was never big on that. I ain't gonna lie, like I can count, I don't know, I used to, I think I could still can count on one, on both hands how many partners I've had, you know, which is, you know, to some cultures is a lot, but to an American, that's like low on the ranks, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, so I don't go sleeping around, but, now that I've awakened and I realize that sex is a sacred act. Hi ladies. <laughs> Everybody looks at me. They didn't see the cart though, so they like smiled. <laughs> but so fucking having random sex and just fucking just know that you're fucking picking up their bullshit. You're allowing you're pretty much plugging your fucking plug into their plug and you're sucking up all their trauma all their fucking bad energy and all that shit. If you're fucking having sex with a low vibing individual, and that don't come from judgment, I'm just saying like a, wo like a woman or a man that just gives himself away out of pure lust because he's been drinking out at the bar all night, fucking drug addict selling their fucking self for drugs, whatever it is, no judgment, I'm just saying. You're gonna fucking, you're sleeping around with prostitutes, you're going on Backpage. I don't know if that's still a thing, but if any of you guys know about Backpage, it's a way that, like, um, what do they call them? What do they call them? They're not hookers, they're escorts. Escorts, yeah, fucking escorts. I used to drive around escorts when I was a dope fiend. I used to fucking drive around the escorts for like $120 a night, just driving hook <laughs> escorts around fucking to their calls. That's for another story. But yeah, you fuck around and go sleeping with individuals, you take on their trauma. So just imagine you're just plugging your USB cord into their hard drive and you're just sucking that shit right up into your fucking, bam, right into your aura. And that's all I gotta say, Ron. Just know that. There's not much you gotta say about it. Like, you could Google it, you know, like, fucking taking on other people's energy through sec through intercourse whatever however the google comes but other than that i'm gonna post this video quite soon oh it's only 10 minutes cool so like i said someone was telling me to head back that way because i know i'm just like holding some energy or something you know something i don't know but that's what i'm being told and that's why i like get sent to go walk through fucking 10 miles worth of distance Cause I'm just grounding energy. <laughs> Fucking lucky me, lucky me. But it's all good. I like staying in shape and I haven't been working out. So it's been working, you know? It's definitely been working. You know what I ate yesterday? I found some bagels. I, that that's like the spirit. That's like the fucking spirit. Always, always helping me out, right? I found some fucking, I love bagels, right? And in a bag, in a grocery bag, just on the side of a curb, there was like a loaf of bread 
and a bag of Thomas mini bagels, brand new. I'm like, thank you, Holy Spirit. I didn't take the bread. You know, I'm not greedy. I leave something for something else. If I see something on the ground, I take what my energy connects with and I leave the rest because that could be somebody else's blessing. If something falls out of my pocket, let's just say 60, 70 cents or whatever, you know, as long as it's not something I, I feel like I need, like if it's just like a few, like some change, I'll leave it there because that's the universe saying, hey, that's somebody else's blessing. You know, so if you drop something, like I'm not saying like you drop a hundred dollars, just leave it there unless you got it like that. But you know, you drop a few fucking cents on the ground, that might be someone's message to keep on going. You know, I find pennies everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, there's a trail to tell me that I'm in alignment, whether it's synchronistic numbers, whether it's pennies on the ground, fucking spirit animals. Like I, like I use, I see, I see lizards, you know, pictures of lizards everywhere. And now I'm starting to see them on the ground in San Diego, little dark lizards. And like I said, you'll get a trail. If you're paying attention and you're plugged in, if you're plugged into this fucking flow of the universe, you will see signs every step of the way. The moment your faith gives, boom. Not even, like, I'm just saying, like, definitely when your faith starts to dwindle and you're starting to be like, what the fuck? Boom, here it comes. You'll see 11-11, like, I, I, like, there's this park bench I always, or, uh, there's a bench, 11.33 on the clock. Uh, there's this bench, this fucking bus bench that I walk past and it's like, three, it's three, 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 three. And it's like, you know, two, one, three fucking area code. And then it says, in God we trust. And then the guy's name is an attorney and it's something king. And that just tells me, you know, we're kings where we're from. You know, if you remember where you're from, you're a fucking king. So, just know you are supported all along the way. And you just gotta trust. It's the trust thing. You know what I mean? It's the fucking trust. Maybe that whole situation with fucking, with Buddy, with Michael Thomas was like so, because I was headed to sell my phone right then and there. You know, I made a video, was gonna post it, and then was going to sell it. And maybe that was to plant a seed and deter me from selling my phone. You know, cause like in the tent, I was like reflecting on it and I was like, you know, me connecting to like PayPal and my bank account and all that is a lot easier through this mobile device. But I'm still gonna check out this cricket shit and see if I could get a line and with some service. But if it's blocked, like if, I, if it don't happen, I'm not attached to it. Cause it just tells me I'm not supposed to have service. Cause like I said, this shit right here is a bad look. So try to do that as less as possible. Do it within closed doors, you know? You know, and don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're listed in, you could just plug in, have your fucking phone in your pocket and be listed to some badass podcast or some uplifting shit, you know? You ain't gotta be like this. Nine times out of 10, when you're like this, you're fucking, you're, you're, you're social media fucking scrolling. You're news feeding it. Feeding this fucking consciousness fucking I don't know what, but either way, I'm fucking out here. I'm going to keep you posted. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Thanks again.